CataractCoach.com. A young surgeon's great phaco chop. Great job in learning phaco chop. And you know what? You can learn this too. Let's watch this case here. So we've got uh, white cataract, surgeon sitting superiorly, good draping, eye and primary. I like that. Two pairs of TCs going in. Probably some tripan blue dye. There it is. Video is obviously edited and sped up. We're not worried about that. We just want to enjoy the video. Now, let's see. Some viscoazo going inside the eye. I'd like the patient to be a little bit more cooperative here. Here comes the main incision. Looks okay. Maybe a little on the short side. And now, let's see. Needle decompression. That's helpful. Needle decompress and aspirate there. And then now, let's see what we get. Get a rexus going. So, let's see the rexus. Beautiful technique. I like the fixation of the eye with the paracentesis. This is why you have to be able to do a one-handed paracentesis, right? More viscoelastic, always a good thing. Viscoelastic is cheaper than vitreous. We all know that. Nice, good, generous rex. I like the rex. It's a lot. Ooh, running out. Pull that back in. There you, okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. For a beginning surgeon, we're not too worried about that rex. It's continuous. What else can you ask for? A little bit of hydrodissection here. Be careful because there's not a whole lot of lens cortex because it's all liquefied. It's not really adhering to the bag. Ah, by manual IA to get out that cortex. There we go. That's an interesting method here. So IA to get out the cortex. Now going back into the phaco probe. Now switching hands first. But then we'll go back in the eye with the phaco probe. And let's watch the chop technique here. Remember, it's your New Year's resolution. If you want to learn something new this year, you want to learn phaco chop, now's your time. This is your message. This is your secret message that you can learn this. Watch this. Let's take a look. Look at the settings here. So we're going to have relatively high vacuum going in there. Let's see high vacuum. Chopper going around the equator, almost. Buzzing with the Faco Pro, vacuum with the 400-something, chop. Didn't quite go, that's okay, just try again. Buzzing again, vacuum 400, there's the chop, look at that. Propagated too, very nicely done. Buzzing again, vacuum 400. Look at, wow, what a great technique here. I like the sort of staying in the middle of the eye there. Now look, a little bit of Irish prolapse with the paracentesis there. What does that tell you? This is, the patient's got some funny tissues here, that's okay. We're going to not worry about that for now. I agree. Don't worry about the hours for now. Finish up the case. Buzz with the Faco Probe. Vacuum with the 400-ish. And, oh, not quite. Get a good purchase there. You want that ding, ding, ding of occlusion telling you it's time to chop. Think of it this way. You step on the pedal. You get that high vacuum. And you go, ee, ding, 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 ding. That me ding means it's occluded. And that means chop, chop, chop. Just think. When it goes ding, 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 it means chop, chop, chop. Time to chop it up. Pieces come out real nice and easy. Here's the last bit of it. Be careful. Nothing's really weighing down the caps or back here at the end. Oh, a little more viscoelastic. Smart move. Protect the corner. You may want to put some of that viscoelastic in the bag even. You see that Irish wants to prolapse, so that's okay. Now switching over to, okay, a, a, a softer manipulator here. You can chop with that too. Exactly. Once you learn how to chop, let me tell you, it's so much fun. You end up chopping it in more and more pieces than you need to. If you see any of my cases where I operate now, I probably only do a few chops. One chop, maybe even just one chop, boom, take out two hemi-nuclear pieces. Sometimes we do three or four chops, but I very rarely do more than that unless it's a really dense cataract. But sometimes when you're learning chop, it's so much fun, you just want to keep chopping. So at the end here, it looks beautiful. Get the viscoelastic in the eye. Now I put that iris back in with the viscoelastic. Yay, good idea. You read my mind. Let's get that uh, bag cleaned up here. Not too much cortex remaining there in the bag. So aspirating that out, this is fantastic. For a young surgeon here who's only done a few hundred cases, fantastic. I like it. That's a nice-looking case. And imagine how happy this patient's going to be. This is a miracle for the patient. Came into the clinic, light perception, vision only, going to leave with clear vision. That is my favorite magic trick in all of medicine. So cleaning up the back here, the bimanual IA tends to work pretty well. Not sure why the one iris side prolapsed. Maybe there's a lot more manipulation there. Maybe the incision's a little bit wide. Maybe it's made in a little bit different manner than the other side. But, oh, look, it wants to, the iris wants to prolapse to the main incision, too. So, certainly there's some floppy iris issues going on here with the patient. Let's see, slightly enlarging the incision. Let's see the lens going in. Eyes already full of viscoelastic. Here comes the lens. Looks like a single piece of acrylic. Get that in the capsule bag. Get that in. Beautifully done. Look at that rex. It's a pretty nice rex. Ah, make sure that trailing haptics in the bag, though. Really make sure. Not 100% sure am I yet. Uh, Morian, I don't know. What do you think about the trailing haptic there? Subincisional haptic, is it in the bag or not? I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and watch that again. Oh, what an azure eyes. You know what? You're, if you're a young doctor too, put some sutures in. Make sure that lens is fully in the capsule bag and hydration's good, but you know what's better in this case? A couple of sutures. Plus, if you're a young surgeon, it's fun to do suturing too. 
All righty. Beautiful case. Thank you. Check out our podcast, top podcasts, all of ophthalmology. And your New Year's resolution is yes, you'll listen to a podcast episode and you will learn how to be a more successful surgeon. Check it out.